Hey, welcome everybody. Glad you stopped by the channel. If you're a beginner intermediate player and just starting to solo, you need this video. Let me start by saying what I'm not going to teach is playing a scale up and down for a solo. The number one thing you can do to improve your solos today is add phrasing within that pentatonic scale. Check this out. Leave some space in between those little groups of notes. For these examples today, just using the, the A minor pentatonic scale, but really adding that blue note in there. Just adding the blue note adds a lot of things you can do for phrasing. And the chords I'm using in this little groove are just A minor to D minor, back to A minor. Little tricky, F7, E7, back to A minor. Kind of a, a BB King kind of vibe there. Don't be afraid of those chords. I'm really going to show you how to outline those chords you know, within some phrasing that we're going to work on. Start a phrase, leave some space, and answer it. It is so simple. It's a simple concept. It is very hard to teach this and get this into your head, but this is so important. Uh, there's many rhythmic things you can do to add phrasing to your solos. Check this out. Just that alone, you know, I, I just created more of a bouncy vibe, leaving space in between the phrases and just really looking at this root note A, sliding up to that E note in the, uh, uh, the ninth fret of the G string, still using that blue note. play through this jam here just using some phrases and I'll show you how to outline these chords. D minor. Keeping this simple, but it is so powerful when you do it that way. Just using the pentatonic scale, hammering on, sliding up to the root note here. A, 10th fret of the B string. A minor. Maybe the second time you, you hammer that on and, and coming up to the D minor chord. That sounds so good over that because we're outlining the chord basically. You're, you're using the A note, the fifth of the D minor chord. 
and bending a full tone up to the D note here. So this is the 13th fret of the B string, but you're bending up to the D note. Hitting the C, release it, back to the A. So you have the root note of the D minor, minor 7th, and the 5th. So you're, you're actually outlining a good chunk of that chord. That's why it sounds so good. Then walk back down. And just leaving space in between all these phrases. I, especially a piece like this, I really like the way that sounds. So getting up to this F7, E7 change, don't let that scare you. Embrace it and really outline the, the notes in the chord, which is a, for the F7 is a F, A, C, E flat, and then the E seventh is E, G sharp, B, D. But if we put a few of those notes within the pentatonic scale we're working with, it, it, it just it sounds you know really good and we're still at home base here. So I, I just did a half bend up to this E flat note, which is the minor seventh, the blue note of the pentatonic scale there into the C note, which is the, the fifth of the F7. So we just have a couple chord tones in there. You could do something like that. You can just, ham just slide up to it also. I'm hammering on and pulling back off to the C, then sliding down to the B note walking down the notes of that, that chord of the E7. And then we're going, going back to A minor. F7. See, that fits perfect. Because you have the A note, the C note, and the E flat note. And then we're going to the E seventh. Back to A minor. I touched on it briefly, but you can play linear with these pentatonic scales and, and create phrases up the fretboard and down this way. You're just walking up the pentatonic scale. Those octaves are, are pretty powerful. If you add small phrases within the pentatonic scale you're working with, it doesn't sound like a scale anymore. It's going to give you more confidence and you're going to, the few notes that you play, you're going to play them uh, in trying to say something. So that, that was really the, the bulk of the, what I wanted to show you today. I really appreciate you hanging out and all your support, everyone. Hopefully we'll see you on the next one.